Welcome back, my students, to a brand new episode of Comet Class. And in today's lesson, guys, we're looking at Stanley and Steve Ditko's The Amazing Spider-Man issue 13. And this is the debut of Spider-Man's villain, Mysterio. And yeah, it's a pretty iconic first appearance from a Spider-Man Rhodes uh, Gallery villain. And I can't wait to talk about it. So without further ado, let's jump right into today's story. Let's go. So this story starts off with Spider-Man supposedly robbing, I guess, a bank, and he actually ties up some of the police officers that are kind of like, um, you know, running after him, chasing after him, with some of his web fluid, his webs, and yeah, he basically gets away with a web a parachute. Now, the next day, the first uh, paper, you know, the first page of the Daily Beetle basically is talking about Spider-Man and him supposedly robbing, I guess, a bank or something. So. Peter Parker basically starts freaking out, wondering what exactly is happening. Could he actually be doing this like sleepwalking type thing? Because how could someone else have spider powers like him? Considering he got his in an accident. And yeah, so he basically gets, you know, into costume and he tries to go find out from a psychiatrist on exactly what uh, could be happening to him. And he basically almost gives up his secret identity when he realizes that he has to find a different way to deal with what's happening. There has to be another explanation for what exactly uh, is happening with this Spider-Man figure, you know, that's, that's apparently stole uh, from somewhere, and we get to see that Betty Brand and Peter basically get into a little bit of an argument, with Peter kind of just frustrated with what's happening and not knowing exactly who this Spider-Man uh, figure is that's, you know, pretending to be him. Could it be the Chameleon or someone else? Um, because we do know the Chameleon has tried to frame Peter before, uh, so this is kind of happening again. And Betty does mention that, you know, Peter never has talked to her this way before, and Peter recently goes to talk to J. Jonah Jameson, and yeah. So while Peter is talking to J. Jonah Jameson, or you know, sometime after, Mysterio appears in uh, J. Jonah Jameson's office, basically tells him that he wants to be paid in exchange for taking out Spider-Man for Jonah, so, or JJ. And yeah, so him and Spider-Man basically get in a fight on, I think it's the Brooklyn Bridge, and none of Spider-Man's spider abilities are able to face off against Mysterio because his webbing actually is just getting disintegrated by Mysterio's uh, powers, and Mysterio uses his power of illusions to basically uh, put some smoke screen, like a fog, and just start attacking Spider-Man from different angles. Spider-Man's spider sense not able to figure out where exactly Mysterio's at. Eventually, Spider-Man uh, gets knocked off uh, the Brooklyn Bridge where he jumps off, and Mysterio is kind of like crowned the winner by J. Joe Jameson. And this kind of like teats, you know, Peter uh, down a few bits, basically makes him rethink how powerful he actually is. And yeah, he uses a spider tracer on the next day whenever Mysterio shows up to, um, you know, want to get paid by J. Jonah Jameson. And Peter basically uses a spider tracer to figure out where exactly Mysterio's uh, base is at, his hideout, and they get into another fight, their second fight. And Peter uses his spider senses because somehow he's able to use it better uh, this time, and he's able to figure out where Mysterio's at, and he basically attacks him. Eventually, this fight uh, goes on for a few pages, and Peter eventually is able to take some pictures of his fight with Mysterio, and he's able to tie up Mysterio after he knocks him out, and he takes him to the police, apparently. And J. John Jameson basically, you know, Peter was able to get a confession from Mysterio before they started fighting or while they were fighting. And he was able to clear his name with the police and J. John Jameson. So now Jonah is going to have to uh, do, like, uh, I don't know what you would call it. It's basically he has to like, tell the, uh, the public that, you know, he was wrong in, the news in his newspaper. And Spider-Man basically ties Jonah up, saying that he better, you know, clear his name in the newspaper because he's been telling lies about him. And that's how the story ends with Peter basically uh, getting teased by Flash, saying, you know, because Peter was trying to make it where people couldn't figure out his secret identity by going against Spider-Man. And Flash is a huge Spider-Man fan, and the issue ends with Peter basically swinging throughout New York City, saying how awesome would it be if he could tell Flash that his favorite superhero is actually... 
Peter Parker. And that's how the issue ends. And it was great. I really do enjoy this issue. Out of all of Steve Ditko and Stan Lee's uh, run, the Mysterio debut issue is one of my favorites. It's one of the ones I definitely remember. I feel like it's one of the most well-crafted in all of the uh, 32 issue run. I think it's 32 issues here. 32 or 33. Uh, but yeah, over all those issues, uh, Mysterio is definitely in my top five. Uh, just a fantastic story that was told um, in the span of light. I think it's like 15 to 18 pages. And yeah, Stanley and Steve Dicko were on their game when they made this issue, and I definitely recommend you go check it out on Comicsology. Link in the description down below. And that's all, guys. Until we take a look uh, next time at the Amazing Spider-Man issue 14. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you subscribe if you haven't already for more Spy the Amazing Spider-Man videos uh, by Stanley and Steve Dicko. We just were covering the entire run, and I don't want you guys to miss the next video. But the next video, guys, God bless you. Until the next lesson, keep on reading those comments.